Hey, what's going on, everybody? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, we have another episode of Hacks here for you guys. Yeah, really love the progression of the two characters as they kind of begrudgingly begin to accept one another. Slowly. <laughs> it was a really fun episode. They were on a, a not really a retreat, but uh, Deborah was getting her, was it her face or her nose? Eyes. Her eyes, yeah. She was getting her eyes refreshed, not redone, as she specified. Refreshed. Refreshed. And uh, they uh, they share a pot gummy. They did. They did. They had some 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 revelations a little bit. It turns out that Deborah did not burn her ex-husband's house down, which I thought was yeah. really a nice turn for the show, right? Yeah. It's um, like this whole thing that built her career was kind of a lie. She's not she she built her career on being the crazy lady, and she's not. She's just a lady and she and she exploited it, you and know. And it's kind of bittersweet, right? Yeah. She made millions. Yeah, she millions, did. Millions if not on on this story that just didn't happen. She didn't know what to do, she, so she tried stand-up comedy, and it worked because of this story. Yeah, and that's, uh, I mean, it's an amazing story, actually, if you really I think about it. I get it, right. Um, so I, I wonder going forward if she's going to come clean, because um, Ava said, you need to put this in your act, you need to talk about this, which I kind of agree with, but at the same sure. time, it's like, I mean... No, I completely agree with Ava on this one. This is the first time I think Ava's 100% right <clears throat> about something. It'd be kind of weird, though, Like if there's a really famous comedian that has a crazy story, and all of a sudden they're like, yeah, it never happened. You know? <laughs> right. Well... Um, when I was watching that and that, that conversation, I kind of thought of, of John Mulaney's situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he had this yeah. persona of the, you know, sweet Catholic kid, you know, who married the mean Who's Jewish like, girl. Like and, an erratic guy. Yeah, yeah, around. absolutely. Um, and it was adorable and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, he had the, the, these kind of, you know, personal crises that happened. Yeah. And his last stand-up special, that was the special. I was him. Seen it, but was yeah, him. I, I watched it. It, it, it was, yeah. Good. And it was him kind of talking about all of the... You know his drug use, and you know a lot of the, the, the a lot of the stuff that's led him to kind of where he is. It's hilarious years. because that's you know because he is. Um, but uh, that's kind of what I thought of, and it's it, it, and you know he he kind of even is is saying like I'm you know I can't use that persona anymore. You know I've, <laughs> I'm you know people that's, realize you're not who they think you are anymore. Performers, especially comedians, right? They're really good when they grow. Yeah, like absolutely. When they kind of expand, because if you do the same thing over and over again, it's going to get stale. That's why it's called hacks. Absolutely. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so it, it's time for an arc. It's time for a growth. I yeah. want to see Deborah branch out and do something sure. else. And I, I think we will get that. That's why Ava's there, of course. Exactly. Right. And and I, the same goes to Ava, too. She's stuck in a rut. She needs to get out of her own way and listen and accept herself for who she is and Except the fact that she is talented. Yeah, she, she is. She can succeed. So. Yeah. I mean, both of them. I mean, she can get away from that BS story. Uh, Deborah can get away from that story, too, and, yeah. and actually try to do some material that has kind of nothing to do with the, that persona. I was watching an episode. I can't remember who he was interviewing. Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee with Seinfeld. Yeah. And they were having a conversation about <laughs> when you go up and tell a story, does it need to be true? And the com- I can't remember who he was interviewing. was like, yeah, I always try to you know tell it. You know, And he's like... Who cares <laughs> yeah. if it's funny? If it's a good story, if yeah. it's a good story and it's funny, say that. And I, I you know, and obviously it's two different trains of thought, but I think they're both completely valid too. I think you need to find a middle ground. Sure, you know, based in truth, exaggerated. Yeah, you I, know what I mean, right. Well, I mean, all comedy's got to be based in truth, or it's not funny, right? Yeah, exactly. There's got to be something recognizably funny about it. But if someone says my girlfriend the other day, blah blah blah. If it's funny, who cares? You know what I mean. Yeah. Entertain me. Uh, they're, but they're jokes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. But I, I I like the idea of Deborah stepping out of her comfort zone and doing something a little scary and a little dangerous. You need to. That's how you Be- grow. Right. You don't because grow out of the comfort zone. Yeah. Because I think there's more layers to the character if we if we get her uncomfortable because she hasn't been uncomfortable. She's very she's very, very confident person. in who she is. She is. I love that. Yeah. I love that about her. All right. Uh, before we do get going, guys, if you're watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Hello. If you don't mind hitting that like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. If you don't mind hitting that like button for us, leave us a comment down below and please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our new content we have coming your way. Absolutely. If you'd like to see the flunky reaction to hacks and everything else we're watching, please check out the link in the description to our Patreon down below. In that vein, we do want to welcome some Patreon subscribers for the last couple of days. So Jake Elliott, Evan G, Exploding Snapdragon, nice. Megan Stanley, and A. Mortensen. Thanks so much, guys, and welcome. We sincerely appreciate you being here. Thank you. You guys are the best to make this whole thing happen. Absolutely. Um, all right. She's having a sex dream about Deborah. Deborah, that's weird. Did not see that coming. Did not see this coming at all. You know, the brain will do what the brain will do when you're asleep. I mean, it makes sense. The only, the only two people she's really had a relationship with in the last month or however long right. it's been is her and that guy. Well, I, I think I think subconsciously the power dynamics at play for yeah. sure. 
But the only people that she's been you still mad at me? <laughs> not intimate in that I kind of way, but you know what I mean. You. How you doing? Good. I have to do press for the big show, and then I'm throwing DJ her 35th birthday party. Ah. Uh, hey, why don't you come? I'm sure DJ would love to see you. You'd actually be helping me out. I always have to pad these parties. Okay. I'll see you tonight, then. Bye. Bye. That always drives me crazy in shows. He has no idea what it is. Right. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, I think that there's been a little bit of a misunderstanding. People are under the false impression that you're running this party. Damien, I am the house manager. So, And second, <laughs> this party is under my jurisdiction. And what I say goes. Well, I'm Deborah's nice. personal assistant, and I'm in charge of all of her events. So, Fire the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's, I mean, she does run the house. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah. Well, you're the mystery day. They're there mm -hmm. for a reason. You look so you know? different without your fluorescent vest on. <laughs> not better, just different. Can I agree with me about the shapewear? Is that what this is all about? It's not about you, Deborah. I like him. Mm hmm. Pretty. Oh, <laughs> really? Thanks. <laughs> is she like is into her now? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is weird, right? No clue. Thank you. Now, where is your lovely little girlfriend this evening? No, she's not coming. Jeez. Well, she's nuts, huh? Well, we actually broke up. Is that Marty's <laughs> angle? Good that might be. No. Oh, 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 my God. Man. Ava, this is the love of my life. Aiden, this is my girlfriend, Ava. Hey, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Oh, the current Tough Enough MMA welterweight champ. Wow. Ooh, feel his muscle. Babe, don't flex. Don't flex. I mean, it just must, like, suck to work for a white lady for 20 years or whatever. Sadly, Cosby wasn't hiring. <laughs> <laughs> she was my favorite comedian growing up, which should have been my first clue that I was gay. Mm, that and the double puka shells. Correct. <laughs> Although she needed to seriously reconsider her idea of brand merchandising. <laughs> <laughs> she offered me a job on the spot. I've been with her ever since. What's the deal with them? Mm, I think they have some history. There was like a vibe between them. And yeah, there is. Yeah, for sure. I ship it. And share some very exciting news with all of you, my nearest and dearest. Aiden and I are engaged! Oh, so it's not only my birthday party, but it's also my engagement party. <laughs> Congrats, honey. I had like a, I had a sex-ish dream about Deborah this morning. Wow. Sexy. Oh, babe, you probably just had a sex dream about Deborah because she's fucking hot. Yeah, she is, but I don't know, maybe this is about power? I'm sorry <laughs> about you and Ivy. That's okay. Couldn't trust her. She let a woman roam through my house, take pictures. Oh, so it's my fault. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you all so much for coming. And especially is this the part where it blows up? Because it's going to. You know this is going to. You know, I I've honestly never met anyone like you. And I, I think it's so brave that you're not afraid to march to the beat of your own drum. Thank you God. for giving me an excuse to live my own life. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Mom. Save the best for last. This might go badly. Happy birthday. Okay, it's going okay. I've been thinking uh, a lot uh, about the past lately. I had DJ very young. And people didn't think that was a very good parenting choice, raising a toddler in comedy clubs. Probably not. <laughs> no. So I thought it was best that you'd be with me, for better or worse. I mean, at least it was always better. Oh, this is oh, actually really yeah. sweet. I got this all wrong. I would fall. We're not going to get a prenup. Oh, you are absolutely getting a prenup. Oh, okay, so I was wrong. You can get yourself a prenup, but we are not doing it. It doesn't even matter. It's not your money. Oh, please, your whole life is my money. Yeah, I mean, you know I get that. God. You're just jealous because someone actually loves me. Who wants cake? <laughs> that was a disaster. That was horrible. Would you mind talking to DJ? She's really upset. Me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, of course. Right, she's upstairs. You hear her back there? Who talks to their kid like that? I totally understand. I just had this fantasy that she'd just see that things were going well for me, you know, and maybe be proud of me. I just feel like you get it when it comes to her. Uh, yeah, I do. Honestly, my closest relationship right now is with your mom. It's like the most normal thing in the world to want your mom to be proud of you. You know, and, and she can definitely get in your head. Yeah. Stop waiting for her to be proud of you and start doing things that make you feel proud of yourself. Great advice. Yes, yeah, that was really good advice. Yeah. I'm just going to wait here until Marty gets back, though. I don't want to be rude. You have no power here. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm being arrested or something. You're being bounced. I think she is drunk, actually. Trashed. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't get married right now. DJ, don't do this just to piss off your mom. I'm not. Ava, you were right. I gotta start doing things for me. <laughs> That's good. Good. I, um... Yeah, they're gonna hook up. Oh, over. for sure. I wanted to... Don't freak out, but, uh, DJ, DJ's getting married. Like, like right now. What? No, no. We're gathered here this evening to celebrate the true love between... Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. My foot hit the gas. Sorry. When you walked into my life, I realized how much I'd been missing. The only problem is you made me a worse fighter. <laughs> I know that I'm not always the easiest person to love, but you always see the best in me. Thank you for teaching me how to love myself. Oh, Aiden, oh. you may kiss the bride. Oh, I like this is actually getting Deborah. Is this legally binding, by the way? I don't oh, know yeah. how it works. I yeah. think so. I don't... This is actually like a really nice no, episode. It is. <laughs> yeah. Sands the meltdown at dinner. Yeah. Yeah. May I ask the mother of the bride for this dance? Oh my God. We've got a whole lot of foreplay going on here, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice that they kind of have this. I don't know if Marty's being sincere because she was blackmailing him the last episode. Right. I don't know. It, it's weird that they had this dynamic, but they, they can fight each other business-wise, yeah. but have this kind of chemistry the personally. Is, I thought Marty was going to be way more sleazy, but he's really not. He actually hasn't been. He's not really a bad guy so far. He's um, he's her villain. He's her foil, but yeah, I agree. He's really not a bad guy. But even like when he was like, Yeah, I'm pulling your dates, it wasn't to be a awful. It was just because he's like, Hey, we need to fill up your yeah, slots. I, I'm going to up. make more money replacing you on the weekends yeah, with somebody it's else. The weekends. It's not, he's not the kicking around. Pentatonics? Away, yeah, the pentatonics. Which are real people. Which are real. Apparently. We got a lot of yeah. messages like, You idiots, the, <laughs> the pentatonics are yeah. great. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, 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 truly, sorry. <laughs> But uh, no, like I, I get it. Yeah, I mean, taking right, the weekends yeah. away to, to have more successful acting. <laughs> right. Yeah. Business, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, this was a good episode. This was it's a really great. nice episode. You Absolutely. Know? I, I did love uh, Ava's realization that she's not actually attracted to Deborah. Oh yeah, like the timing could not have been worse for her to like have that pers personal moment. Yeah. Uh, which I was even myself. I was like, what? You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a weird turn of events. Uh, I, I love the fact that the only song she could play was the theme to Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> There's you can go way worse with, with that with John Williams. Yeah, you, you really, yeah, you really could. I wonder if she learned. Well, I guess that's the only one she knows. But it's like you know, you could do Superman, right? The Star. Well, Star Wars on piano might be a little difficult. Yeah, you need a full orchestra for that to, yeah. to make that work. Which they got the money for it. So. They do. Yeah. Why would you tease us? Give us that. Give us that in the show. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was it. Was nice. It's like as soon as I started playing, it's like, wait, is this Jurassic Park? <laughs> Hundred grand per piano lesson <laughs> just to learn that's, that song. That's amazing. She killed it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, kind of, we're seeing a lot of shows with 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 wealthy kids, kids of wealthy people. Yeah. Like we're watching Succession mm -hmm. right now, you know, who don't really recognize the privilege that they have or the, the situation that they're in. Sure, you know what I mean. It's like you do realize that, you know, all all this "woe is me" stuff. You're getting opportunities and 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 you know the, the, your life set up in a way that most people will never get. That's also there's another interesting aspect there too. It's the shadow of the parent. Like, completely you know when when you're coming from a wealthy family sure. probably more so in succession but even in this a little bit you know right. what i mean like what is, what is that like for a kid well i i have more sympathy for dj than others because she yeah. wasn't just like growing up rich she was like on, on touring road. on the yeah. roads didn't she talk about like the first time she did cocaine she was like 13 yeah or something, something, like, something like that something like that yeah because she was unsupervised and in a you know, around probably a lot of not great people and like touring these clubs and stuff. Your peers are she, adults. Right. She was never going to win. You know what I mean? Yeah. She never had a chance um, as far as a healthy upbringing. No, but as, as an adult, you have a, a, an opportunity to sure. maybe write the course. And, and, well, I think and, she and has. Make something. Yeah, she's got a business. She's got a business. She's gone through rehab. You know, she's she seems to be take, you know taking care of herself. She's... We say Nepo baby because she is, but at the same no, time. No, she is. You're going to have to use your parents' money when you're in that position because you can't live in the Oh, there's life. nothing else, right. So you really, can't, right. it's like, what are you doing with that money? Right. Do something good with it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I but the, the, the only thing I have with it is I'm still a little grossed out by the stocky photos. 
Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Had, paparazzi photos. Tipping off the paparazzi to get photos of her mom and getting paid for that. It's gross, but at least Deborah knows about it. Right. Deborah knows about it and like secretly is helping her. I'm just being really great about it, actually. Yeah. But I do think that it was in the same episode where she's like, I'm a self-made woman who doesn't need my mom. And I'm like, you are literally the opposite. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, put the delu- delusions aside. Right. Delusions aside. I like DJ. I do. Deborah Jr., which and, is and, hilarious. And I it's do a hilarious hope, revelation. It, it has pretty funny. And I hope her marriage works out. I do, too. Aiden seems like a nice guy. He really does. They, they both seem like genuinely good people, honestly. Both so, of them. Uh, is, there, is there two seasons of the show? I think, and I think they're doing a third. I'm, I'm not sure if it's on already or if it's being done. Mm-hmm. But I, I know when Max became Max and a lot of the creatives were being let go from HBO, you yeah. know, um, they let a lot of creatives, like 80% of the creatives go for the streaming service. This is the show a lot of people were worried about. Like, so are you going to stop doing your prestige comedy hacks? Are yeah. you going to stop making it? Apparently not. Apparently they're, st- they're still Good. going forward with it. Now, I don't, I don't know where they are on it. Good. Sorry, I just shook the coffee table there. So we were probably doing a little bit of a <laughs> dance here. Yeah. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's still going on. I, I don't know when or if three's up yet but i, I, know there, I, I knew there were i knew there were at least two because i know gene smart won emmys both seasons, both uh, both for both they'd seasons. be dumb to get rid of it right i mean we have a successful show let's it, get rid of it you know? yeah exactly we're, we're, we're crushing it in the prestige world with it i know let's cancel it yeah but you know we do live in a streaming world where you know shows get the plugs pulled Left really right. quickly for a lot of different reasons netflix being the worst of that but you know yeah, Netflix has the worst reputation for it, but I feel like the others are catching up. I feel like HBO and Hulu yeah. have caught some flack for jumping the gun too early. Because, I mean, how many shows are there? Where, like, the first season's a little shaky, but they get better. They hit their stride. Yeah. They, you know, they, 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 they figure everything out going forward. How many shows is Netflix or any of these streaming services deprived fans of? It's like, man, I really would have liked a second season or a third season of that. Well, this is a separate conversation, but at the same time, it's you're right. I mean, I think it's we live in a world where it's not art. It's not... It's it's commodity it, for it's, sure. It's a right. product anymore, yeah. and it's it's churn and burn. Right. So it's like that one didn't do it. The algorithm says no. Move on. It's hard. It's hard for people to resonate with something when it's it's gone like that. Sure. Sure. So. All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.